Wow, did I get something right? Did that happen? <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. Well, hello and welcome to my office. Wearing bright orange today. You won't miss me. You'll see me coming in the dark. Um, yeah, I wanted to share something with you um, to start this video. We received a letter um, from a chap called Simon. I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this with you. And it has a key attached. Um, if you can see, I don't want to share the address that's at the bottom. There's a key, a letter with a key. Now that's something you don't get every day. So my interest was very much piqued from the get-go. And then I read the letter. I'm going to share the letter with you. It says, Hi Nick and Andrea, this is a complete shot in the dark. I've been meaning to write to you ever since you bought the vintage leather briefcase. I'm assuming you mean this one here. And did the just because pre-Christmas chat video on Christmas Eve where you spoke lovingly about your grandfather. I remember that. I had a similar close relationship with my granddad that you had with your grandfather and he taught me loads. Yeah, I was, I still miss my granddad. I think about him often. He had a huge impact on my life. And yeah, in that video, I went off on a tangent and, and talked a lot about him. Anyway, uh, it goes on to say, he gave me his brown leather briefcase sometime in the early 1980s as a gift, but unfortunately after many years in the loft it, be it became badly crushed, so I threw it away. For some sentimental reason I kept the key and put it away in my man drawer. Man drawer? <laughs> we all have those uh, junk drawers, don't we? Just like yourselves, we too are in the process of decluttering as we are moving, and I came across my man drawer and remembered that you didn't have a key for your briefcase. Here we go, it's making sense now. Give it a try and fingers crossed, it's a generic shaped key that fits. If not, you're welcome to throw it away. It's just a key, not a granddad. And that's from Simon. So, I'm gonna take the key off here, which is sellotaped to that letter, and see if by some miracle it fits that. So, there it is, lock but no key, one tiny little key. Let's have a go, ah, oh, it's looking too big, it's, ah, uh, no, ah, oh, it doesn't fit, it's too big. Well, that's a shame. That is a shame. So it doesn't fit, but it was, yeah, as you said, Simon, a shot in the dark. But thank you so much for thinking of me and thank you for that letter. It was lovely to read and yeah, we gave it a go, but it didn't quite work out. I'm gonna keep this. It feels like a little good luck charm, despite it not fitting. So I've got a little bit of blue tack on here there so that will stay there and bring us a bit of good luck so what else has been going on well we've had a lot of things arriving that letter arrived with the key this beauty arrived this is Depeche Mode Soothe My Soul 12 inch single sealed <sighs> bit of a treat uh, this arrived not quite as exciting. One lemony snicket book. Now why would I order that? You ask because over here I have cleared this out whilst listing stuff. This was filled with books and I had 12 lemony snicket books missing one for a complete set. Set completed that can now go on and that will be all of the books there was I don't know how many 50 60 books round in here which are now 
it was mostly Harry Potter uh, listed. Good stuff. And then this great big box, which I have not opened yet. This has come from my friend Cliff. Cliff and I chat regularly about music. We have very similar music tastes. We moan about eBay to each other. <laughs> and every now and again, Cliff sends me a parcel. Now I haven't opened this yet, but I was speaking to Cliff earlier and he reliably informs me that it's filled with void fill, packaging supplies. I think Cliff is psychic because I've just run out. This couldn't be better timing, Cliff, if you're watching this. Um, so I'm gonna open that up in a minute and we'll take a quick peek inside there. And then um, I'm gonna share some really cool bits that have sold. Now, this is truly a package only a reseller could get excited about. It's void fill. As far as the eye can see. Oh my God, Cliff. You've rammed it in. That is perfect. Because apart from a little bit of bubble wrap under here, I've run out. Excellent. So thank you so much, Cliff. It is really appreciated and yeah, perfect timing on that. So I quickly wanted to share with you, uh, when we moved all of this stuff in recently, um, a bunch of you lot got in touch and wanted to buy some stuff. So the second batch of that is going out today, which includes these items. So Selena, has bought this stair basket. Lovely wicker basket, sits on a stair. Clues in the name, Nick. And also my favorite of the two cats we had, this Siamese cat. I think it's a Devon made one. Yeah, made in Devon. Really nice thing. I prefer this one to the the blue kind of pearlescent one in there, not quite my style, but this one, gorgeous. So that's going to Selena along with the glass Avon scent bottle in the shape of a bird. Isn't that cool? So thank you, Selena, for those. And then Zeb took a shine to this uh, German pottery really striking black vase. I was saying to Zeb that we kind of took a shine to this and it was uh, almost kept, but it's going to its new home. So thank you for getting in touch and for the purchase. So I need to package those. I need to do a load of eBay orders as well. Um, it is a Friday here. So I thought we would just pick a few bits. There's a couple of other shout outs I can do as well. So we'll do those along the way. We won't do the whole lot. I'm going to keep it kind of relaxed and casual today. Uh, we'll pick out a few if they've got messages on and a couple of interesting bits and see how we get on. Okay, so I'm just looking through the orders. Uh, there's one with a message there. Two, three, I think there's four. I think we'll do four with messages on uh, and then see what else there is. So. Let's find that first one, where's it gone? Uh, it says, thanks for the offer. Thought this would be a funny Valentine's gift. Oh, shh, in case he's watching. Hmm, should I share this? It's a gift for my husband, long time subscriber. Lots of bits in your clearance are too good not to take, not to get. Take care, Sarah. Right, I'm not gonna share what it is because you might watch with your husband, but it is it is a cool thing. Um, yes, we'll leave that there. I'm not gonna pick that one because I might spoil the surprise. You've said it's a gift, so uh, moving on. Uh, thanks, Sarah, appreciate it. Oh, we've sold those Doll's House books. Ooh, okay. Um, next, oh, intruder alert. Oh, you've already said this, so I was just giving it a brush out. Yes, I've shown that. <laughs> You got all the cobwebs out of it. <laughs> yes. Good stuff. Okay. Well, that can go with the cat and the birdie. Yeah. Just 
looking in this light. I might give it an extra brush. You can give it. A, I thought you'd hoovered it out. You said. I did hoover it out. It's just in the very, very corners. It's very difficult to to see in the light. So. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. We're trying to get it clean for you, Selena. That's what we're doing. Right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's find one of the others with a message. Let me put you down for a second. Hi Nick, I am a viewer of your YouTube channel and have been waiting for this book to be listed to replace my old and battered copy. Your pronunciation of Cthulhu in your video is great. One of the accepted pronunciations. Wow, did I get something right? Did that happen? <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. Uh, all the best, Andrew. So, Call of Cthulhu, uh, Taint of Madness. Okay, let's grab that. So you may have seen in my Geek is Good video, um, I've got all of these kind of role play books listed and they've been selling incredibly well. Okay, there's a lot of weight on top of this. Hang on a minute. Let's move some stuff. Oh, while I'm here, I listed these only yesterday, maybe. They've all gone. I'll grab those. And then I think it's this one. Yes. Taint of Madness. And I see something else listed last night, sold today, an IKEA saucepan. <laughs> How random is that? So... Thank you, Andrew. Was it Andrew? I'm not believing myself now. Yes, Andrew. For the order, really appreciate it. That will be winging its way to you today. And yeah, I picked these because I saw them. So I did two lots. This one on its own, Make Your Own Doll's House Furniture. I think that was on like seven or eight pounds. And these three, the Doll's House Do It Yourself book, Toy Making Basics and How to Make Your Doll's House Special. Uh, I did those as a bundle, I think for like £12 or so. So um, two lots, but the same buyer has bought both, which is fantastic. And then yeah, this, which I happened to see and I saw the order come in earlier, is just an Ikea pan, but there is demand for these. It's their 365 range. What did I get on this? It wasn't big money, but you know, worth doing. I think it was 15 or 16 pounds. It's just come in. Um, yeah, 15.99, so worth doing. And sold quick. So there was another message somewhere. Where are we? Here we go. Hi Nick and Andrea, a regular viewer of your channel here. I've been wanting to buy something for a while to maybe feature in a picking video. Well, maybe you will. And these 90s throwback items are right up my street. I'm still waiting for a video to see what's within that vinyl stack at the bottom of your office. Well, I was sorting out some vinyl, not the uh, 12 inch albums. But I was sorting out some seven inches, found some amazing stuff that I forgot I had. Um, so I might share those soon. Um, as I'm a big record collector and may end up buying the lot, there's a lot of vinyl there. Please give a shout out to my mate Cobby. Hi, Cobby, who's also a fan of the channel. Keep up the good work. Damien, you've bought Blur Double Best of with the bonus live album and Men Behaving Badly. Oh, I remember that series from the 90s. Men Behaving Badly. <laughs> I was watching, um, what's his name? What's his name? Oh goodness, he does, does Doc Martin. What is wrong with my mind? He's in Doc Martin, I've got a Doc Martin here, or tell me his name. Can't see it, of course. Oh, what's his name? Here we, this guy. I was watching um, 
he was doing a documentary and it was brilliant. Martin Clunes, good lord. Martin Clunes. Anyway, that's that. Oh, blur, we didn't get blur. Blur, 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 blur. Here it is. Double best of. This is the special edition version which has an extra disc um, with live tracks on. Very cool thing. So thank you to Damien for those, as you put it, throwback 90s items. Um, I think that's all we're going to do for shout outs. Oh no, there's one more here. Oh yes. So when I went through, I was showing you that space where all the books were. I sorted out four complete sets of Harry Potter books, listed all of those. I did a load of uh, the earlier ones, the first two or three novels, individually. And then I had a bunch left over which I would normally keep to build up sets over time as I pick up odd books. But I really want to just move stuff, so I made a bundle of mixed Harry Potter books and put it on for 20 quid just to get rid of it. And they've gone. And there is a message which says, Hi Nick, I've been watching you ever since you did that retail arbitrage of the tape dispensers. Yes, the video that went crazy for us. Um, always love watching your videos, especially the picking orders. I've been doing reselling for around three years and I've made the jump to full time about five months ago. Thank you for all the help and advice you have given out over the years. Bryce, excellent. So you've ordered, yeah, the bundle of, it's just a few mixed Harry Potter books. So we have a Goblet of Fire paperback, a Prisoner of Azkaban, two of the alternative um, cover versions of Deathly Hallows, and then three of the big chunky Order of the Phoenix. Like I say, normally I would just keep these and and build up sets, but we want everything gone, so happy to move those on. Ooh, and even happier that they're going to a viewer. And you can make up some bundles with them. Right, God, they're so heavy. So that's gone. So I'm going to pick out another couple of interesting orders, if there are any, and um, we will pick those. Oh, there's not. There's a tiny note on this. Uh, we sold a pair of white work shoes. It says love the YouTube videos. I I bought a GTA last time. That's David. He bought a pair of size nine work shoes. Um, we're almost out of nines now. We've got one pair of nines left because this one is gone. All right, move that. Am I pointing in the right direction? Sort of. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. I was looking at stock numbers of. I don't know why I'm pointing there for. Of these, I think it was a hundred and a hundred and twelve. Forget now. 120 odd we've got left, which sounds like a lot of shoes, but compared to what we started with, it's not a lot at all. <laughs> right, let's see what else we've got. One item that is really rather cool and I thought is worth sharing is this unassuming little box, which says patience on the top. And I don't know what date Andrea listed these. She's put 19, circa 1920s. And inside you have two sets of cards. How cool are they? Yeah, so these have gone, uh, there's not great money in them, but they're just such a lovely item. They've gone at 15 pounds plus the shipping. They've obviously been well loved and well used, but they are complete. They're all there. And it's got two compartments for the two sets. You've got blue backs and red backs. Isn't that cool? 
the box has seen better days, but that's obviously all declared in the listing. There we go, something a bit different. So I'm going to leave you here. I need to get really busy packaging an awful lot of stuff to get it out in time. I will find one of our old videos and pop it up here as I always do. Please check this one out if it looks fun. What shall I find? We'll find an old boot sale sourcing video. I love those. Even I like looking back at those and I'm in them. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.